I, uh, all right. So in the spirit of Halloween, we did throw some masks back on it, a stupid Bert head on and Ernie next to me now. And man, I can't, I can't see out of this and talk out at the same time, but Dustin and Walsh are wearing those rubber masks. Uh, what is it? Statler and Waldorf, the old guys from the Muppets. And Walsh, you look like when Hercules, like in the cartoon, went in the pool of death or whatever, and was like on the verge of dying and then got run over by a truck. That's what you look like right now. It is terrifying. Thank you, Ted. This is what you guys are going to look like in 50 years. Or by the end of this podcast tonight. Okay, so let's get into it because we, we did want to just dress up a little bit. We talked a big game about the Halloween episode. So let's get in <laughs> to part two of Dustin versus Walsh. These costumes are ridiculous, so let's get through it. Now, last time we talked... I don't even know the right way to do this. <laughs> I can't. I'm going Your head's hitting the roof. Hey, we talk. <laughs> oh, good idea, Ted. Let's wear the, the Sesame Street heads while we do this. We talked a lot about horror movies last time. So I think it's only fitting with this episode coming out right before Halloween. We know you guys love Netflix or Nonsense or Prime or Pretend. So Aaron did up a game for us called Horror or Hogwash. Good name. Thank you. You know what, Aaron? You came up with the game. Why don't you start us off? All right. Number one. When three college students move into an old house off campus, they unwittingly unleash a supernatural entity known as the Bye-Bye Man, who comes to prey upon them once they discover his name. The friends must try and save each other, all while keeping the Bye-Bye Man's existence a secret to save others from the deadly fate. Title. The Bye Bye Man. <laughs> makes makes sense. Horror or hogwash? Hogwash. Horror. Horror. Point four. Walsh. Um, we're going to hurry this along because Walsh looks like he doesn't have much time left. <laughs> and <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like you guys are now trying to read a menu at a restaurant with my bifocals. An, an action-packed horror comedy about three college girls who go on a carefree vacation of drinking games Topless sunbathing and sexual exploitation. Well, sounds like the theme of this episode. Their carefree fun comes to an abrupt end when toxic zombie beavers <laughs> try to eat them. Title: Zom Beaver. <laughs> zom Beavers. Crime. <laughs> That's not even an answer. <laughs> Hor- horror or hogwash? Hogwash. Horror. That is. Horror. Oh, no that way. is a real movie that people made that I will likely watch. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm in. Yeah, topless sunbathing. Uh, yeah, it is sexual exploration. What did I say? You keep saying exploitation. Oh, yeah, we don't want to. Do, <laughs> we don't. We don't do any of that here. Yeah. If I if I said I can't read very well through this mask, if I said exploitation, it was sexual exploration. Okay, Aaron, take it away. A man buys an old house to restore, and when digging a hole for a septic tank, he finds a large box filled with $3 million and a dead body. His dilemma, does he report his findings and lose the money, or hide the money and rebury the body? Title, Digging to Death. Hogwash. Hogwash. Horror! Oh, guys, it was so obvious. Yeah. So it's still two nothing Walsh. Teens on a school trip think they're in for the adventure of a lifetime, but excitement turns to terror as the students start to turn on one another in depraved and horrific ways. Someone on the island is trying to open a portal to hell, and cannibalism is just the start. Title, Portal to Hell. Or hogwash. Hogwash! Point for Dustin. Dustin, two on Walsh. Now, Aaron, is that a movie you can get made, maybe? Because it sounds pretty good. Honestly, it is not worse than the other movies on this list. (laughs) Number five. Horror horticulturalist Jack Woods is back, and this time he's facing an army of undead, genetically altered pumpkins programmed to kill all humans. (laughs) He enlists an army of butt-kicking elite female fighters to help him this time, and no front porch will be safe until these killer babes rid the world of these crazed, rampaging gourds. Jack versus Lanterns. <laughs> I gotta tell you how incredible it is right now watching Walls look so focused. 
with this mask on. I can't wait for everyone to see this video. Horror hogwash, Jack versus lanterns. Hogwash. Horror. That is a real movie. No Horror. Way. Point for Walsh. 3 1 Walsh. When a vintage Jack in the Box is unearthed and donated to a museum in the heart of the woods, it's not long before a staff member realizes that the creepy clown doll inside has a life of its own and his colleagues are dying one by one. Title The Jack in the Box. Uh, <laughs> I get it. Hogwash. Horror. Point for Dustin. That is horror. Ooh, three, two, Walsh. Rookie zombie hunters, Brad, Chad, and Kyle, are are already out of their depth against the reanimated corpses threatening their town. But as the army of the undead grows, they come across something even more terrifying. Chad's mom might have started the zombie apocalypse. (sighs) Title, Zombie Squad. Hogwash. Hogwash. It is hogwash. It was the Brad, Chad, and Kyle, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had to put him in I know there. it's Chad's mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, still 3-2. Three, 3-2. Two. Three, two. Number eight. Strange things are happening in Druid Hills, Kentucky. People are saying there are large, great white sharks swimming in the corn stalks. <laughs> Meanwhile, serial killer Teddy Bo Lucas is arrested for killing dozens of people using shark jaws and teeth as weapons. Chief Vera, Sh- Chief Vera Scheider is caught in the middle trying to figure out if her missing twin sister Lorna might be one of them. Title, Sharks of the Corn. <laughs> there, there's a lot to unpack there. Holy smokes. Hogwash. Horror. That is a real movie. Horror. Oh, point oh for God. dust. We have, a, we have a tie. Ty. Number nine. Katana Master Tao leads a special ops squad of ex-military vigilantes on a massacre mission. Their target? Vampires on an old post-apocalyptic globe. Tao is the survivor's only hope, and he knows the only cure is extinction. Title? Against the Dark. Hogwash. That is a real movie starring Steven Seagal. Last question before we have to go to tiebreakers. Down on his luck, Niles thinks his fortunes have turned when he purchased a bookstore in a trendy London neighborhood for next to nothing. What he doesn't know is that the store was the scene of a series of gruesome murders by a notorious cult in the early 1900s. And the ghosts of the victims still haunt the store to this day, killing anyone who picks up a book. Now it's up to Niles and his landlord, Walter, to banish the unwanted souls from his store without becoming one of them. (laughs) Title, I Read Dead People. (laughs) Hogwash. Horror. That is hogwash. Oh, Dustin comes from behind. And we all win because these masks are coming off. Holy smokes. Well, I was worth it to see you two in those masks. <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing oh. at all. Wow, those are hot. But Aaron, thank you again. Great game. And I think like almost all of those were real movies, which is which awesome. Is I think that's awesome. I think it's pretty concerning <laughs> <laughs> for society. Yeah. And almost all of them have been added to my watch next list. I don't know about Chad, Neil, and <laughs> Chad, beefer. Brad's, and Kyle. Chad, Brad's, and Kyle's, but everything else sounded. Yeah. sounded Should have thrown real. in a beefer. <laughs> Should have thrown in a beefer. Yeah, you guys, you guys got more correct than than I thought you would. So well done. Yeah. So well, Dustin, two zero lead, which means we're both one step closer to a free carriage ride and movie and dinner, which is nice oh, because yeah. I'm sick of being on the wrong end of all this shit. Oh dear.